Governor Samuel Otom is here at this undisclosed hospital in Guma local government area for a chat with a policeman who survived an ambush by suspected herdsmen. The officer who was receiving treatment narrates how they came under attack by herdsmen who shot his colleague Solomon Dung dead. When I entered the house, I saw three flying. They hung the bag with uh, magazines, enough magazine inside. So one beside me like this, you see, there are small, small boys. To confirm they are flying, normal flying that you are seeing. No, no different, no story about it. So when the, the one beside me he removed his magazine, he was firing at me straight. Hmm. So but when I see that things is going harder, he later removed his own shoe. So when he removed shoe, myself did me wrong. So when I was running towards our motor event, he started aiming my leg. So I can do it and that is what sustained this injury. By then, they were advancing to the town with their car. Governor Tom leaves at the hospital in anguish and heads for a meeting with more than 10,500 internally displaced persons in Bajimba community. He wants the federal government to reprimand the Minister of Defense for trivializing the attacks, which are now claiming the lives of security operatives. The henchmen are pushing for them, and they have gone for that to even attack security men. That is the aspect that is so sad. I think federal government should stop paying lip services. They should come and face this challenge headlong. It is their responsibility. Not for a minister of defense to stand somewhere and be telling things that he doesn't know. The governor also declares that the people of Benue State will stand to defend their land no matter the intimidation as the insecurity is gradually spreading to neighboring Nasarawa State.